You can now define multiple step shanks by extracting shank data from 3D parts in the same way that holders are currently defined, making complex multiple step shank definition much easier. You can also save and retrieve the shank in its own individual shank library, or save and retrieve it with the tool to the tool library, avoiding redundant shank definition and making shank management easier. Displayed here is a solid body, from which we will extract the step parameters to create a new shank. Profile start position is the distance from the shank positioning point to the tool tip. This value is used to position the shank on top of the tool and generally equals the tool length. The extract step parameters option is new. The multi-step shank is created using the same step parameters as the selected body. The steps appear in the list. Next, we'll export the multi-step shank to the multi-shank library. Now we'll retrieve the exported multi-step shank from the multi-shank library. The shank we created and exported to the multi-shank library has been retrieved and used with the chamfer mill tool. Next, we'll export the tool with the multi-step shank to the tool library. Lastly, we'll retrieve the tool from the multi-step shank from the tool library. The following caveat applies. Extracting step data from 3D models only supports extracting data from one part. It does not support extracting data from multiple parts.